this past Sunday was a remarkable Sunday, and I really think and feel and know that as we journeyed through and, and we looked at Jesus facing this test, this series of tests that God allows him to go through, and as he comes to terms with that, and he overcomes, that we saw that there is so much that that can be overcome. And when God gives us a test in our lives, that God is actually blessing us with an opportunity to respond to him, to choose right, even in the midst of when we so desperately want to choose wrong. And that God does not tempt us, because tempt has this sense of to cause, to to fall away and to sin. And God doesn't tempt us to sin, but God does test us and allow us to move forward. And, and a big part of that moving forward is this is, not, this is not just some selfish act that we're talking about. This is not some selfish moving forward, but God is calling us, desperately calling us to engage with him, to engage with his son and to move forward into not only who he's called us to be, but everything that he's called us to experience to journey with Jesus in the midst of all of this. And so I want to encourage you this Sunday to, to read John chapter 1 and 43 to 51 and, and look at one encounter of Jesus with two disciples. We're going to explore this this Sunday and, and ask some questions of ourselves. Who are we called to be and what are we called to experience? And even why do we even believe the one who is calling us? Why do we even believe that we can be who he says that we can be? Come this Sunday with expectation that God is going to speak to your heart. Pray that God would show you a deeper way to follow after him. Or pray that God would show you that you can. And you are worthy to follow after him. You're a rabbi. You're a teacher. You're Lord. We'll see you on Sunday.